Hey Daniel, where are you? I can't see you anywhere. Huh? Well, I've just come out of the bathroom and you're not where you were when I left. Have you gone into a shop or something? Oh, no, I'm not in shop. Okay, then. Where are you? I mean, if we're not quick, we're going to miss our tour, so we don't really have time for you to be playing hide and seek right now. I've already left. What? You've gone? What do you mean by that? I mean exactly what I said. I've left and gone on the tour myself. I arrived early at the place, and the tour guide took the group early so that we could get more time looking around and stuff. But what about me? What about you? What am I supposed to do now? You've just gone and ditched me? Well, that's not my fault. You're the one who took forever in the bathroom. Not everyone can work around your schedule, you know. Just because you're in a wheelchair doesn't mean I should have to be late to things or miss them entirely simply because they're not handicapped accessible. I mean, take this tour for example. There is no way that you would have been able to come and look at everything because there are steps everywhere and rocky paths. You'd have had to stay by the bus, which means I would have been expected to stay with you and miss out on this incredible piece of history. How's that fair to me? When have I ever stopped you from doing something simply because I'm not able to do it? I would have found something to do if that's what you wanted. I don't need you babysitting me all the time. Well, great. That means I can go and do whatever I want for the remainder of this trip, and you can go and do whatever you want. I won't have to deal with your disability and get stopped from doing all the fun things that I want to do. Me going and looking at something else whilst you're enjoying a tour is completely different to ditching me for the entirety of our trip. How can you be so selfish and callous? I mean, it's not like I want to be disabled. I can't help it though, and being my husband, I thought you'd at least try and sympathize with me and help me make the best out of this bad situation. Why should that be my job? I'm not the disabled one, so I shouldn't be punished simply because you are. I want to enjoy my life and actually have fun whilst I can. I mean, we can't even go for walks in the woods because of your stupid chair. It's so annoying. I've had enough. Are you seriously saying that to me right now? I can't believe you. You're actually going to ditch me in a foreign country whilst you go gallivanting off doing God knows what? Do you not care what happens to me at all? Well, to be honest, now that you've asked, no, not really. What? I've been wanting to say something for a while now, actually, but ever since you became disabled, I've really not been happy with you. Everything we do has to center around you and your wheelchair. If a place I've been really wanting to go doesn't have wheelchair access, then we simply can't go. It's frustrating, and I don't want to let you hold me back anymore. If I want to do something, then I'm going to do it, regardless of whether you can or not. On. So, yeah, I'm going to ditch you in a foreign country because... I want to go and explore all the sights and attractions that I can, which will probably involve quite a few that you wouldn't be able to participate in. I'm not going to let you and your chair dictate what I can and can't do anymore. It's as simple as that. Wow. Well, if you've been feeling like this, then why haven't you said anything to me? We could have talked things through and tried to figure out our new situation together. I know me becoming disabled has been quite a difficult transition to get used to for you, but it's not like it's been a walk in the park for me either, literally. I've had my own frustrations and annoyances. We could have talked about it all. In fact, why don't you come and meet me after the tour and we can actually have a proper conversation about everything. We can figure this out together. We don't need to act petty and selfish because this is a new situation for both of us. No. What? Why not? Because everything I need to know already. I know that if I stay with you, then my life is going to be full of compromises and trying to do everything to accommodate you. I mean, we've even had to modify our home. I don't want ramps or stair lifts or anything in the house. That's for old people. How can I invite my friends over when all of that old person's stuff is everywhere? It'd be really uncomfortable for everyone. So, I've decided that after this trip, when we get back to the States, I'm going to divorce you. Divorce? That's seriously what you want to do? You don't even want to try and figure this thing out together? Not really. It'll just be a waste of my time. Gee, thanks. Whatever happened to in sickness and in health? Or do those vows just mean nothing to you? Yeah, well, you weren't disabled when I said that. 
If you had been, then I never would have actually married you. I wouldn't have willingly ruined my life like that. Nice to know you think I've ruined your life. What was even the point of bringing me on this trip then if you felt if you felt so strongly about leaving me? Well, I mean, if I'm honest, I couldn't have paid for a two-week trip in Europe by myself. You earned quite a bit of money, and the fact that you paid for everything was exactly what I needed. Now that we're here, I can go and do whatever I want. Frankly, after everything you put me through, I think I deserve it. You're despicable. If that's how you want to act, then fine. Just come and give me my bag and we can both move on with our lives and never have to have anything to do with one another ever again. Um, no, I don't think so. What? I'm not going to give you your bag back. You can't just ditch me in a foreign country and steal my purse. That's got my passport and all my money in it. <laughs> I know. What? Well, I figured that with all the trouble that you've caused me with your wheelchair and everything, I would use your money to finance the rest of my trip. You can't do that. Actually, I can. I think of it as a compensation for all the trips that I've had to miss out on and all the places that I haven't been able to go to because of you. I think I deserve to have a little bit of fun and you can pay for it as a way to make up to me for the trouble you've caused me. If anyone needs to apologize here, it's you. You're acting so horrible to me. I can't actually wait to get home and divorce you. That's if you can get home. <laughs> I mean, you're not going anywhere without your passport, which I have with me here. Looks like you're going to be stuck here, and not just because of your wheelchair. To be honest, it saves me the trouble of ever having to see you again, so it's a win for me. Anyway, I'm going to go now. I've got lots more to do with my day, and... It doesn't involve staying on the phone and texting Cripple all day. Who knows, I might even find a cute girl to spend my time with. There is one who's been flirting with me a lot on this tour. Maybe I'll see where it goes. You're actually telling me that you're going to cheat on me? Are you really that stupid? You don't even know that woman. She's stupid. You don't even know that woman. She could be planning all sorts of things. I hope so. It's been a while since I've had some fun. I mean, it's not like you can do anything now. You know what? Whatever. I don't care what you do. I'm done with you and your revolting ways. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Good luck trying to get home. <laughs> don't you worry about me. I'll be just fine. You're the one who should be worried. With how stupid you are, I wouldn't be surprised if you got easily taken advantage of. As if that would happen. I'm much smarter than you. In fact, I was so confident in my plan that I didn't even bring my own money and cards because I knew I'd be able to get yours. That's how amazing I am. You didn't bring your own money? Nope. Why would I need it when I have yours? Oh, you simple idiot. Thank you for letting me know that. Huh? Nothing. You just really brightened my day. Now, if you don't mind, I have an important call to make. Did you know that most banks will encourage you to report any cards that have been stolen or lost to make sure they don't get used? And they'll lend you a little bit of money if you're in a foreign country so that you're not left stranded? It's remarkable what banks can do nowadays, isn't it? Wait, no, Ella, hang on. Don't do anything drastic now. Have a nice trip. Wait, come back. Ella. Ella, what the hell? Hey, don't ignore me. Ella. What do you want? What do I want? I want to know why my house has been sold and where you've gone. Why do you care where I am? It's not like you're my husband. What? Don't be ridiculous. Yes, I am. Actually, no, you aren't. Not anymore. I filed for divorce like two weeks ago. As soon as I got back from Italy, actually. It was quite easy. Especially after I showed my lawyers what you did to me whilst we were lawyers, what you did to me whilst we were away. They were very eager to help me win my case and leave you. Hang on. Lawyers? Yeah. When I showed them how you had treated me and had stolen my money and passport, they immediately began to help me get the divorce proceedings underway. I don't think they wanted to see me married to you any more than I wanted to stay married to you. I've left the papers with your mom, along with the rest of your stuff from the house. You should be hearing from my lawyers soon about compensation as well. From the way they were talking, it looks like you'll be paying me a lot of money in compensation. W what? H hang on a sec. Let's not be too hasty. We... We can talk about this. Maybe we don't have to get divorced. We can find a way to live with your disability. Let's just talk about this, okay? No. 
I don't think so. What? Why not? I gave you every chance to talk to me to try and sort things out whilst we were away. But you wanted to steal my things and leave me stranded. Thank goodness I was able to get to the embassy so that they could help me get back home. Now that I'm back, all I want to do is get you out of my life for good. I don't need someone so selfish, horrible, and downright vile in my life. But what about the house? Well, considering the house was in my name, I thought that I would sell it and move somewhere better. But what about me? That's your problem now. I don't have to be your carer anymore. I can finally live my life freely and how I want to without having to pay for you. Anyway, my lawyers say that I shouldn't talk to you anymore. If there's anything you want to say, you'll have to do it through them. Goodbye. No, wait! The divorce quickly went through due to all the evidence that I had over texts that Daniel had sent me whilst we were away. He was also ordered to pay me quite a lot in compensation for how he treated me. Since then, I found a new home that is more suited to my needs, more suited to my needs. I've also met someone new who actually appreciates me for me and doesn't let the fact that I'm in a wheelchair bother him. It's been difficult adjusting to my new life, but it hasn't stopped me from living.